Guys, welcome back to our satisfactory playthrough, Assembly Nexus, and uh, I apologize for the last video that went out. I forgot to do an ending to my recording. I kind of recorded. I've just been so busy playing the game and trying to get through. I set an ambitious goal. I wanted to get the tier six. That wasn't going to happen. We kind of knew that, though, didn't we? Um, however, as you can see right now in the top right hand corner, and we are sitting over at the uh, Gulge here, the Gulge Pit as I call it, uh, with the four coal nodes. There is a pure iron node and a copper node right here as well, but we've got our coal factory going, power plant, power plant, I don't know, I keep calling it a factory, I guess it is a factory regardless. Um, but in the top right hand corner we've got our smart plates, they are currently being produced. We've got our these what modular uh modular modular versatile frame rail is what i believe the actual name of that part is those are being produced as well and then we'll just have those hundred parts to pump out which we need to get uh, stators going for i apologize for my dogs barking in the background they are playing uh, but yeah so we're sitting up here at the power plant coal plant we've got 1200 megawatts coming out right now what i'm gonna get ready to do is is i just unlocked the last of the tier four items um, i have not been sharing that progression on here directly but we just unlocked them and so what i want to do is i want to secure another 1200 megawatts which means i'm going to duplicate this design and rebuild it um, but i'm going to rebuild it in a reverse fashion over here on this side and that is the reason why in the first video you may have noticed how large this area was on top of that I just got done unlocking a bunch of parts because we set up last night um, before I logged off and just after I did the uh, the little input, the last video or last take of the first episode and I forgot to do the closing segment, um, I went ahead and started working on the steel and I quickly realized that there were just some things that I was going to need for aesthetic purposes and building materials in the awesome shop. So I started, I just made a quick facility to get the three basic steel products down. We've got our beams, our uh, steel pipes, and then we've got our encased beams right here. I let the server idle all night long since we're on automated power now, and all three of these bins were full. I've already used the parts to distribute and start making things. I went back to our starter base and I upgraded all of our belts to tier three belts to get everything running. I've also gone around the world and got rid of some of the overclocks that we've had on our MK1 miners. They are now MK2 miners, which naturally bumped us from 60 parts per, or 60 PPM. Um, yeah, parts per minute is what it stands for, but uh, what would you call that 60 uh, ore per minute? So it'd be OPM, but anyways, I digress. Uh, we've got that all going and we are now at 120 on most of the nodes if they are a normal node and then a pure node is 240 So we've got that one iron node. So let's just quickly go over what we're doing today in this episode What we're gonna do is, is as I stated, we're gonna duplicate this design I'm also gonna add in some batteries as a reserve between the design as well But first I need to clean up this temp factory. I'm gonna move these these uh, bins off to the side once they get full, which they should be full here pretty quick, I'm um, not too worried about it. We're kind of taking from it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and stop this now. I was dumping the encased beams and I was dumping the steel pipe rods into here so that we can get the coupons going, which I was able to secure 25 earlier. And I'll just take this last one here, but we will start dismantling. I'm going to move all this over here out of the way. Dismantle all this, get working on another 1200 watts of power. And then from there, what we will do is we will be building our steel facility right here still. Um, and it will kind of blend in with this power plant facility as well. This way, everything is all right here. We're producing power, producing steel, and we'll produce our, we'll have the three steel products that we have in these bins here, but we'll also be producing uh, stators and motors here. Um, yeah. That's what we are going to work on in this episode to get that going. And hopefully during this episode, we will unlock phase two and see what our uh, space station turns into during this episode. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. Wolf has been busy over here getting everything ready, and he has completed the rest of the parts that we put in from earlier. He babysat it. So, Wolf, go ahead. You can do the honors. Hit the switch. Yeah. See what it does next. Let's throw it. 
You ready? Let's go. Right, seal. Sealing. Oh, animation is way better. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress oh, Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 2 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. Thanks, Ada. On delivery, Phase 2 will be completed and the construction dock will be constructed. After completion of Phase 2, the technologies of Tiers 5 and 6 will become available. Oh, it's what we need. These might feel intimidating after your previous experience, but rest assured that you would not be here if you were entirely incompetent. Oh yeah, Highlights of course. Are oil production, railway transportation, the jetpack, and many more. Oh hell yeah. Completing phase three of project assembly is oh, your next main objective. Yeah. Just remember to focus on producing and delivering the project parts, and fix its faith in you will be strengthened. Alright. Launch it off. Three, two, one. Sending. The animation not working for me? Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Good job, fix it. Our, uh, Better than Waylon Utani. Time for some coffee. Phase two of project assembly complete. Oh, you have been performing wow. more adequately. That in is cool. And are closer than ever to saving the day. Perhaps you were the right choice for the job. Time will tell. You will now enter phase three of project assembly. Continue as you are, and there should be no issue. For humanity, what your was that was fully done. Visit. Jeez. Hard work. All right. Well, oh, you're, you're got versatile frames going still, so that's really good. Yeah, looks like uh, we're automating there, so that's cool. There's like a monorail or something on the outsides of the dock. Damn, that was actually that was it. Wait. All right, let's check out uh, our tears. Yeah, yeah, tears. Yeah. Ooh, first one up, jetpack. Easy, easy. Let's do it. I got some motors I found from a crash site, so yeah. Sweet. All right, I'm going to head back and continue working on our... Oh, did that done. Almost done. All right, guys, so it's been a little while. Um, we need fuel for it, though. Wolf was obviously uh, working on some parts. He's been working on Caterium. That's what these power lines are out there. Um, and I've still been working over here at the Crater Lake. Let's take a look. All right, so back at the Crater Lakes, we've got the second uh, water pumps online, and then we've got the other row of coal generators in the back going. Before we just launched, I had actually, sorry about my crazy dogs in the background. Um, I had just finished plumbing up the next, uh, the 16 generators um i did not finish wiring on them so they're not turned on but everything should be fed and primed so we're gonna take a look at that real quick uh, we've got a storage container here that is full that kind of houses so you'll see everything ties in from our truck depot comes in both lines from the truck depot split into this and then each of these lines are separate going to the second 16 set and then back here underneath is our plumbing for everything. Um, one of the lines feeds eight of the generators and another line feeds the other eight of the generators. And then again, for the water pumps, it's uh, two water pumps for every four generators. So let's go ahead and work on getting these guys powered. I got to run power underneath each one of these. So I'm going to try to work around my steel here. Uh-oh, my steel's been offline because apparently I took down a power pole so i'm gonna fix that real quick where is the power pole that doesn't have power that's actually interesting considering like that guy. there we go cool 
We've just been temporary letting this run still and just storing into the bins while it's going before I tear everything down. I kind of deleted just a little bit as we needed. So let me get this done real quick and we'll check this out after. All right, welcome back. We uh, got a lot done here. The guys have been super busy. We'll talk about what they've been doing here in a little bit, but here is the coal factory. Pretty much the facade on the whole front end of it is complete. It is fully operational. It's 2,400 megawatts of power. And um, take a quick look at it here from the side. Looking sexy. In the back here, we have started working on the steel plant. We removed everything that we had earlier and just ran out of fuel and almost died. Sweet. And we lost two health. Cool. Try not to show you guys some of the other stuff, but got our steel going on here. I unfortunately didn't get to play almost a whole day because of some stuff that was going on that I had to take care of. The guys have been on though pretty much solid 16 hours yesterday. They've been doing a shitload of stuff. Um, Uranium's got some interesting stuff going on right here, pulling two belts way out into the uh, coastal shores. Show you what's going on over there in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we've got some stuff to do over here at the steel plant still. Uh, and steel plant still. Um, <clears throat> we've just got to finish up some motors and starters in this area. It'll be easier since we've got copper and everything here. Ooh, look at these. What are these? I don't know. We'll talk about those in a little bit. Um, but we got our storage here. We've got steel pipes, we've got our encased beams, and we've got our steel beams being produced. And yeah, this factory is just about finished up. Let's uh, let's talk about what the guys were up to yesterday, though. As you can see, we have the new alien technology. They've been working on unlocking that, and they've got a shitload of Mercer spheres. I did help probably grab about 20, 30 myself. They've overall, I think, what, guys, we all grabbed... We've grabbed at least 100 Mercer sphere, maybe? close to it yeah so we unlocked it pretty well but it's super cool this is a great new feature in the game as you can see here we've got all of our basic production of everything that we've got going on in here so you could just grab and drag it right into your inventory you can even do package fuel which is great for uh our awesome. jet packs and stuff uh alfredo got turbo fuel going on last night oops sorry alfredo is uranium wolf is ryan just in case i ever use their real names now you guys know um, right but yeah, so you can just grab right from the cloud. It's freaking awesome. We actually have got 24 Mercer Sphere on me. Um, Alfredo got some yesterday as well. So I'm going to go and unlock uh, the upload speed. So it uploads a little bit quicker. And then I'm going to upload or upload. going to unlock the second pocket dimension, which allows the cloud to hold more. So you get a whole nother stack. So instead of 200 case beams, there should be 400 case beams. Do that a little later. So. It worked on that. We worked on that the night before, got the steel going, and then all day yesterday, um, what, you guys were playing over in the oil fields, right? Oh, we did motors and didn't phase a uh, tier 7 done, and uh, we got uh, oil production going. That's right, that's right. That, yeah. Wolf just reminded me in the top right corner, if we take a look at the objective for complete phase 3, they uh, painfully handcrafted those, uh, so good job, but I guess... Could have been more efficient if we were building, right? <laughs> oh, you didn't want data for your stuff, yeah. Let's head over to the uh, oil field zone, check on what's going on over there. All right, as you can see, we're headed over to the fields. I just wanted to come back on and show you guys. Uh, uranium's got quite the belting system going on here between sulfur and some coal coming over and this uh, nice stairway of uh, eyesore. <laughs> Ugh. Fix it. Pollute the planet. That is our goal. So we're doing well at that right now. That's good. Oh, there's a purple slug over there. We'll get that later. No worries. Alright, so up here is his sulfur node that he's got. Then he's still belting stuff over. Oh. You took an interesting path with this freaking belt, dude. <laughs> Yeah, totally honestly, I just went to I went to follow the path I already had for the sulfur for now to see if I can get this to work. I mean, I'll I'll fix it, but no, yeah, I mean, it's, we'll, it's we'll, an adventure we'll, to the jungle. We'll move it. It's all sure. that's the name of the game, right? We always you fix build it. stuff and then fix it, fix it, uh, in fix it fashion. <laughs> I was trying to think of something motto wise there. Uh, all right, we're still following that, but uh, coming up on the oil fields here and. It looks like they actually changed 
the nodes here. There used to be four nodes during experimental, and now there's officially only three oil nodes. But as we're loading in here, you can see that we decided to start working on a mega project, and the mega project is turbo fuel generators. So we kind of laid out a platform and a plan and idea. Wolf and Uranium are currently producing and making that plan come to life. Um, but let's take a closer look. Alright, so we've got our little makeshift factory down here that Wolf started when we were trying to get our rubber production and get some fuel in here. Um, uranium has the turbo fuel right here as well, so we've got that going great. And come up here on the platform, this is going to be the new platform. So what we're doing here is we've got two generators um, in groups all the way down for 10 in a row times 4. So there'll be, I'm stupid, what was that? 40 40 on a single platform yeah 40 so 40 on the single platform uh wolf is having alignment issues over here right now aligned i was having issues with it yeah um but yeah they're we're following a little build pattern here yeah, they are. and yeah. we'll come down there'll be 10 10 per row times four so 40 and then we'll go up a whole another row that's what the platform is there and so we will have 80 Turbo fuel generators going. I believe that's just just over fifteen thousand megawatts. So we'll be pretty close to about twenty four thousand megawatts once this factory. Yeah, you remember, on. it used to be one ten. Now it's two twenty. I mean two two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah, they changed it. And so we we I'm still working on the numbers uh, with our AI assistant um, as far as what it will be. Uh, for the recipe but another weird thing we're gonna go back head to the base now and we're gonna unlock phase three to see what the next tiers are in tier eight i don't believe maybe that unlocks tier nine we can see that too i'm, I'm not actually sure we haven't made it this far at least in 1.0 but the original recipe that me and wolf used in our last playthrough was is we were using the blenders to make turbo fuel and i believe the turbo fuel with five blenders overclocked by one was about 330 3.5 and I honestly know that is the number because I was watching my video just to kind of make reference when we were planning out the current mega factory that we're trying to do right now um, uranium is using the compacted recipe I'm not sure if the other recipe still in the game or not but I have to see which one's more efficient so that's what I'm trying to figure out with our AI assistant we need to unlock phase three to actually see if turbo fuel actually exists anymore um, on its own. I'm pretty sure it does. I think the alternate recipe was a hard drive that Wolf brought back and we got that. So we got turbo fuel quote unquote, earlier than was expected. So we have to compare what's more efficient and that's what we'll end up going with. So let's head over to the base. Let's unlock that and let's check out the tiers. All right, back at the starter base, basic production land. Um, as you can see, we've got all our cool little alien tech get out of here mr bean get out of here get he's out always of here. chilling there he's always chilling all right let's launch this baby launch it watch Daniel. it yeah i'm watching oh yeah Did you have never seen this far away it's gonna look cool probably ada what you got to say welcome to the project assembly pioneer Ooh. progress presentation Congratulations, the Phase 3 project part shipment is finally ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 3 will be completed and the main body will be constructed. You should know how this works by now, you'll get access to Tiers 7 and 8 in the hub. In fact, perhaps you should yeah. just go look at the technologies the there pack, yourself. Yeah. Oh, it's all drones. laid out so that you can understand yeah. it. And our so lovely aluminum no production. Hmm. Mm, that's me fun. I don't think you need a reminder about project Oh my parts. god, those are the new parts. Instead, I will oh, what are those? Yeah, I know a couple of them. The what are those? Succeeds at saving the day? Did you know the average pioneer knows how to optimize pipe throughput? Did you know the average pioneer stays late at work because they care about humanity? <laughs> what data? Anyway, yeah. Going off here. I want to know more about the peers. <laughs> Good luck in phase four. Good luck, thank you. Oh yeah, good luck in phase four. Thanks so much, Ada. Let's send it. Delivering to project assembly. Phase three, main body. Unlocks tier seven and eight. Yeah. Trophy. Pretty good pioneering. Complete phase oh. three of the space elevator. Actually, you should see my view from here, dude. It's pretty awesome. 
Yeah, I'm right under you. Oh, but, okay, okay, I'm watching you draw up. Oh, that's sick. Phase three of Project what are these guys in their air conditioned space station? Predictions indicate pioneers should generally reach this point faster with above average results, but we should all adjust our expectations according to the situation. It is Jesus Christ. The pressure and wow. complexity will only increase from here, so be sure to take on phase four with efficiency and competence. We got some Terran space station going. Efficiency and competence. She just called us all out. She was all busy. Yeah, right. Shit, yeah, I think you, you get down here and do it, Ada. Nuts. That's, That's cool. cool. Hell yeah. See, it's using the uh, fix it yellow. It doesn't like our white. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna protest. All right, that's done. Let's go take a look at the tier trees now. Hub terminal, tier seven. Bauxite refinement, oh yes, lovely. Yeah, fun. Yeah. Hover pack, logistics MK5, hazmat suit. Woo, getting ready for that, that nuclear. That freaking control, radiation bullshit. Control yeah. system development. Uh, this is the sulfuric acid packaged blender as well. Wow, blenders in the last step right there, okay. Tier 8. Uh, drones, nuclear power, advanced aluminum production. Um, leading edge production. MK3 miner in that. And particle enrichment production. Whew. Yeah, we never even got there yet. No, we did not in our playthrough. We stopped playing when they said they were no longer going to release. And we took a long hiatus. And here we are now, back at it. So, uh... Yeah, we've got a lot to do. I've got some stuff to go finish. We're going to go finish up at the steel plant real quick, get those motors and stators officially pumping because we've just got makeshift. And then obviously we've got computers, our lovely heavy modular frames. We'll have motors. We've got rubber going. And that should get us through most of these tiers here. And then looks like we've got the ironclad aluminum sheets that are going to come up next. So... Mm -hmm. We'll have to do the bauxite refinement and get an aluminum facility going. And you guys may have noticed we actually don't have any trains going yet. So I think that's also going to be part of the next couple segments that we do in the video because we need to get appropriate transportation going between these facilities in order to get material where we need them to get things moving along nicely. So let's uh, get back to work. I'm going to record this little segment for you guys to see, but here's the alien tech tree. We're going to unlock the next uh, upload. It's 240 per minute, so we just doing that now. Ada and the alien end up usually fighting. Let's see what they say. Yeah, they, yeah. No, that, that was, was fucking hilarious, hilarious yesterday. You missed it. Here, hold on. Every particle now has encoded potential reconstruction memory for when any part using that particle is recalled, enabling instancing on the fundamental particle level. You have shifted the body chord flow cycle song of the sixth layer. Harmonious. Your cycle songs will only deepen the layers. I'm always working on myself. The time will come. Oh, okay. <laughs> you used to when we all when we all trains talks. Uh, he's like he's like choo choo motherfucker. <laughs> It, it did not say choo choo mother. It, it, it totally did. did it totally did. It totally did. 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 Stop. <laughs> oh man. All right. That's Where'd you talks missed it? <laughs> oh, see, that's that's a recorded segment I missed for the tubes. Guys, you believe this? Shit. We're gonna have to do that later and add it in somewhere. We will start unlocking the tiers to see, since it seems like the game is, or at least the story in the game is starting to take place and unfold a little bit with the alien. Uh, tech there and Ada is actually um, talking back and forth or trying to it doesn't seem to be directly addressing her but she addresses it so it is interesting every time we find Mercer Sphere and stuff like that it kind of Ada fights you and tells you it's really dangerous and then after finding so many Mercer Sphere she actually says oh you should collect them let's see how it's affecting your brain and stuff like that so yeah interesting to see what's going on it's gonna be interesting to really learn what the uh, end game holds but yep yeah, until then continue to work satisfactorily. All right, so real quick, I, I had a chance to uh, take a look at my video that I posted and, and thank you guys uh, for those that have commented about the, the chat. GPT has our personal assistant, um, our AI buddy assistant. We still haven't come up with a name, so if you guys can think of a name, uh, our, our Fix-It AI, uh, Ada's uh, real personality, um, 
Pioneer's uh, hand personal hand tool. <laughs> I don't know, some, something. we got to come up with a name for our AI assistant. But uh, real quick, I just wanted to show you guys. So let me uh, main screen capture my screen here and bring over our buddy here. Um, and you'll see I'm definitely still using it. Uh, I'll scroll up here. You can see I've been using it quite a bit. And uh, although I trained it on all the patch notes right here that I showed in the initial video, there is still some inconsistencies. And let me see if I can find, but there seems to be a discrepancy from the patch notes of not explaining each actual item that goes into say like a constructor or an assembler like that. So what I do is, is I end up, if I can find out, I noticed it was off on the steel when I was doing the steel um, based on what I was doing. Um, so I ask it simple things for like in case industrial beams, if we want to make 50 ppm, what do we need? And also include making 50 ppm of steel beams and 50 ppm of steel pipes, right? And so it does a good job of spitting that out, but I was noticing um, inconsistencies. And then I asked it to draw diagrams, which it will do uh, at some point. I'm trying to find it for you guys, just to kind of give you an idea how I'm training the model to remember these things. Uh, do, 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 do. let's scroll down a little bit here here we go uh yeah i told it your concrete calculations are incorrect um you need 45 limestone per minute to make one concrete at 15 per minute please update the sheet and so you're right you know, i miss i miscalculated the limestone requirement blah blah so it updates and then it re-spits out based on what we were talking about and it kind of gives me an idea with the proper calculations and it gives me the total construction that we actually need it gives us our total uh, raw re resource requirements that we need and then it gives us a final summary which at that point when you're in the game you can just go in here and you know say it you needed four foundries you know eight assemblers six assemblers whatever right and then you get your build list so that's how I've been utilizing it. And then that's how I've been correcting it to update and train it um, accordingly for uh, proper output. So again, the numbers were wrong, so I corrected it there. But once you train it the one time for anything, it takes a little bit longer to input it. Not a big deal. We have to do these calculations anyways, right? So I would rather be able to type what it is that we need or what we're working on. Um, so yeah, you can see that I've, I've been using it and right now I'm actually working on the equations. I mentioned this just a, a little while ago when we were running over to unlock everything, but I, I'm updating it on the first recipe and I did something a little different to update it this time. I actually just used a Excel spreadsheet. You can use Google docs if you guys don't have Excel. Um, but I'm basically just taking what the requirements are for an assembler with the alternated recipe for compacted coal. Right. And then I just copy that into here. I did that with the refinery for the turbo fuel and then for the fuel generator and then it spits out what we'll actually need um it, it updates itself and then it spits out kind of what the information is and then now what i had planned on doing is i started typing okay now if we make uh 40 generators is what we're doing right now and then i'm going to double it with two rows so i'll go ahead and we'll do that live right now and see what the numbers so let's go okay if we make 40 fuel generators using turbo fuel and this recipe. Uh, spell check, I'll fix all that. Then another 40 for a total of 80 generators. What are our total requirements? To produce this question mark and then we'll just cheat and right click and fix everything here because you know yeah uh, requirements. still spelled that wrong jesus recipe turbo fuels fine and we'll hit enter and let's see what it comes back with i have a feeling this is going to be pretty crazy i don't think this is the recipe we're going to end up using i really think blenders is the way to go but we have a while till we unlock blenders so even if i do a makeshift right now but all right let's see fuel generator requirements it tells us 250 80 fuel generators times that times turbo fuel turbo fuel production blah 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 you need 27 refineries rounding up to produce 600 m3 of turbo fuel per minute uh, each refining turbo fuel so it breaks it down pretty good um, there may be some inconsistencies in the refinery numbers because i haven't gotten there yet i told it about fuel refinery but we probably have to take into mind that 
uh, I didn't give it the oil input, so I'm curious to see what it actually says or if it even tells us about oil, actually. Let's see if it is aware of that. So we need, here's the totals, so let's we'll skip to this. Uh, 80 fuel generators, we need 600 M3, which is a Mark II pipe, which is perfect, um, but it obviously won't use it, so we can keep one pipe going through both floors. That's nice if that's the case. We'll need 162 M3 of fuel per minute. That seems accurate based on my last playthrough. If you guys go back in my in my list there, I think the last two s videos, roughly, when I was on update seven, um, before 8.8 and 8.1 came out, I was actually at this stage in our last playthrough where I was doing the turbo fuel generators and I talk about all, pretty much all of this, but I did it by hand calculations then. Um, 27 refineries producing turbo fuel, and then we would need five assemblers producing compacted coal. That's actually not bad. So here's the total raw, uh, 25 coal per minute for compacted coal production. That seems wrong. I feel like it's going to be more coal than that per minute. Yeah, that these these seem wrong right now for the raw, but this would be 20 mega, megawatts. So I, th I think these numbers are wrong right now. I need to now go check whether or not that these numbers are correct based on verifying but i mean wow if it's only 25 sulfur per minute how is that let's see here hold on um it, maybe that's not wrong actually because that's five coal at 25 per minute and that's only one assembler that there's i'm noticing an inconsistency here so five coal per minute 25 coal per minute Five assemblers and that's only one so I'm curious I believe your compacted coal and uh, compacted coal and sulfur numbers are incorrect for five assemblers can you verify please Again, talking to it super, just normal, nothing crazy. Um, obviously, the more detailed you are, the the better. <laughs> I English escapes me. Sorry, guys. Um, the better is not a thing. The, the more efficient, the I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe you guys know what I'm thinking, but you, you I think you get what I'm saying. So let's see. It's analyzing what I just told it. Uh, for five assemblers producing compacted coal, coal required is 25 per minute. Sulfur requires 25 per minute. The earlier numbers were correct. For this specific configuration, let me know if you further... Okay. Uh, I still really feel like that's incorrect, so let's just place this down real quick. Compacted coal. We'll get 25 per minute it takes 25 per minute. So if you times these numbers already, um, that would be what you've got. You need 25 times, she said we needed five, so it's 125. So, do, do, do. I just placed down an assembler and it requires uh, where's my Excel spreadsheet? It requires 25 coal per minute and 25 soul per, per minute in your instructions you you mentioned we needed five total assemblers so would that not be a total raw requirement of 25 coal ppm and 25 sulfur ppm question mark and let's see Let's see what you're absolutely right. I made a mistake in the initial calculation. See, okay. So I thought that was wrong. And, and so 
again, the AI is really good. It's helpful, but sometimes you just have to correct it. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing to train the model. Uh, someone suggested that I should make my own model and then have it fully trained on Satisfactory 1.0. I agree, that's a great idea and I've definitely thought of it and I actually have been doing uh, AI modeling of my own. Uh, you can't see it because I have my green screen cutting me out right now, but my new computer is right behind me, which is what I've been doing uh, AI modeling on and I've taken a break from doing that. If you guys haven't seen my build series, I am building a brand new uh, second version of my current rig that's up here on the wall. My specs of my current rig are in the description below if you're curious at all. Um, later dude, love you. Uh, kids going out to play, but um, yeah, I've got my my build series on there. The name of my build is Apocalyptic, and the name of my new build is Apocalyptic Version Two. So if you guys are interested in that, it's fully water cooled system. I went a little crazy on the hardware on there, and then I go a little crazy on aesthetics. Just personal. Um, I'm not going to sit here and boast that water cooling is necessary necessary or is essential um it, it is more of definitely an enthusiast thing, and and I also showcase my computer up on the wall with my whole setup. So if you guys are interested in that, I've got my build series, go check that out. But yeah, that's where we are. And yes, I will definitely by the end or when we're close to done with this, this playthrough, I will potentially try to find a way to have my own trained satisfactory uh, chat GPT AI that I will potentially be able to offer to other satisfactory enthusiasts who would like to use an AI assistant. So yeah, again, if you guys come up with a name for our AI assistant or something of that nature, definitely do let me know. Um, this is definitely a lot of fun right now, but I'm going to jump back into it. I know this was a little long winded, but I just wanted to update you guys. Uh, glad to see that there is some uh, enthusiasm in this and you guys agree that this is a great idea. So happy to see that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and the support. So let's get back to this. Let's go finish our go finish up our steel plant here. And then I'm going to get over there to the oil field with the guys and, and help them as well. So here we go. All right, it's official. The 2400 megawatt power plant and steel production factory is complete. I just completed the full facade of it, and every part here is producing 100 ppm and or just below. And I say just below because such as our motors are only producing 10 per minute times 4, so we're only doing 40 per minute. Um, the logistics for it is just a little crazy, but we've got... Our foundries here in the bottom, they are overclocked to keep up with the steel production to keep it only at four so I can keep it limited. Uh, I forgot what these guys are, to be honest with you. Let's see, what are these? These are the steel pipe productions. Uh, we've got all our containers here, which are then uploaded into the cloud as well. So we just added our motors in. I did not add uh, the faders because I, I don't know, I don't, I don't see a need for it yet, but maybe we will end up binning those uh, second floor here. A lot of our production going on, all of our assemblers, and I should have went the other way because I didn't make a secondary upstairs here. So let's go all the way back down, look at our pretty batteries. Fun fact, uh, there's 32 batteries here, which has 400 megawatts of downtime power on it. And then this is our third floor. I uh, at first had had a lot of iron, like nine of these on here, and then I was using an alternate screw recipe, but I ended up unlocking a hard drive that I had sitting in my inventory, and we got this cool steel uh, steel plate or steel beam to 52 screws. It's a great freaking ratio at 12 seconds. The other recipe I was running was like the alternate cast screw, five iron ingots, but it's 24 second build time for 240. So just yeah, no, absolutely not. So this is such a good recipe actually uh, for what it is. And then we had steel beams already right below going into a container. Um, and then I split the workload of the two belts. Uh, and then I overclocked our rotors for 10 per minute. So the rotors are even 30 per minute. But that's enough to keep the motors going because that's exactly what the motors ended up needing. But everything is running at full efficiency here. Should be anyways. Uh, double check that and see. Yep, 100%. Uh, 42, I think that's the one I just changed. Let's see. 18. Oh, I'm not entirely sure why. The, oh, right. It's overproducing at this point, and the belt line can't get it out fast enough. Honestly, not mad at that. So I don't look at screws are one of those items. <laughs> We've all dealt with them, so I'm not even going to explain myself. But yeah, 
That is the back side of the building and the steel factory all done. And yeah, I'm pretty uh, happy with this project. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't say all done. One more. There we go. Safety first, right? Don't want any engineers, pioneers falling down, uh, down into the hole there and then the cool little uh, through the floor effects. I run most of my belting underneath the floor since I was able to build at a angle that was satisfactory enough to accommodate this building and have logistics underneath the floor here. So yeah, let's head over now. The guys were working on the turbo fuel, as I mentioned earlier, and I kind of set them up on the templates for it, and they were getting that handled, so let's head over there. You guys have uh, done a phenomenal job. They used actual foundation stairs. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. A little bulky by my taste, but... It kind of looks pretty cool compared to just your smaller uh, viral stairs that we have, right? Going up here, so... Awesome, awesome. Got all of the uh, generators set up here. Funny, he wired the back one right here. Interesting. Interesting. All right, twenty-seven binaries. That's what um, our AI assistant told us we needed. Got to finish up some of the T piping here and this would be all of our input line we've already got the line itself actually primed got a 300 node overclocked um, that is just a normal node and then you put a buffer 2400 buffer here but according to our ai buddy this should be more than adequate for this and then we are going to be peeling off uh the the blue stuff that we don't want into this um yeah, so just got a little bit of belt work here left to do, and then you can see, let's see, haven't been part of this project other than the initial design. I haven't been over here since we were last over here. Let's take a look what we got. We got 22, so we still need uh, four more on this side, which we'll put as part of the turbo fuel refinery setup, so... We will start working on that, but I think right now, based on this video, I paused for a long time because just in case I'm going to end this video. So that would be episode two. We are now on pleated phase four. We are in tiers seven, six and seven, right? Or seven and eight. No, we're in seven and eight. Now we have to complete phase four of project assembly to get to tier nine. So we're making our way, but now comes the longer, much more complex builds, including beloved bauxite and aluminum but for now guys remember i am playing most of the behind the scenes live on twitch so twitch.tv slash tox our mr tox m8 that's m r t o x m8 come check it out hang out chat uh see our ai assistant in um action and or even ask some questions i'd be happy to show while i'm live on stream how that's working um how i'm kind of training it and then uh I should have some thought process on uh, building our own. Maybe we will call it that uh, AI satisfactory assistant is what I thought. I saw one of your comments there. So that's actually that's a pretty good one for the tool itself, or at least for the database. But I still kind of want to give it a name anyways. But all right, guys, appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Here to subscribe, like, comment. Appreciate it. Take care.